For those of you who don't know, there was just a magnitude 5.1 earthquake in uh, sort of northwestern North Carolina near Sparta. It was widely felt across Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. And so you're thinking if you're on the West Coast, why on earth was this earthquake that was a magnitude 5.1 felt so widely across the East Coast? Well, that's really common for earthquakes that occur in the central and eastern U.S. On the West Coast, we have a lot more faults. That's where the tectonic plate boundary is. So we have a lot of faults and a lot of earthquakes there. The ground, though, is very broken up. And so the seismic waves don't travel as well. Out here on the East Coast and in the central U.S., you have older and usually denser continental rocks, and a lot of them are overlain by sediments. Those are the sediments that have eroded off the mountains over millions of years. So this hard, dense rock, as well as these soft sands and soils, transmit the seismic waves really well. And so these seismic waves are felt over uh, larger, broader areas. So more people are likely to feel the earthquake and feel it when it's further away. So what are the things that actually influence what we uh, experience during an earthquake? Well, the first is the magnitude. The larger the magnitude of the earthquake, the more shaking uh, is you're likely to feel over a broader area because the more energy that's released during that earthquake. The second thing is the distance away from the earthquake. So this makes sense, right? If you're close to the earthquake, you're gonna feel more shaking than if you're really far away from the earthquake. The third thing is the local rock and soil conditions. So soft sandy soil actually traps earthquake waves and makes you shake harder and for a longer period of time. You can imagine that if you're in a basin or in an area that has a lot of soft sands and soils, those earthquake waves are gonna make you shake like a bowl full of jelly or jello, whichever. I want some jelly, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's getting on to lunchtime, right? Anyway, that's why a lot of people felt it. If you did feel it, please tell the USGS. They have something called a did you feel it report. In places like the East Coast where we don't have earthquakes very often, this gives scientists a look into how the ground is responding to the earthquake shaking in different areas because we don't have as many seismometers out here. We don't have as many instruments to measure the earthquakes. And so we wanna know exactly how the ground is shaking where you are and what you experienced. Your experience during earthquakes is important. Earthquakes can be really scary. And so we want to know what you felt. We want to know what you would experience. So if you have any more questions, feel free to put some comments here. You can contact me on Twitter at Dr. Wendy Rocks. I'm also on Instagram. So uh, nice talking to you. Stay safe. If you feel earthquake shaking, drop cover and hold on.